welcome back. This is a Delmar uh, diver. This is a micro brand. Um, dropped off uh, from the OFD channel for review. Um, it's massive. You look at my wrist here. I don't have a big wrist. This thing's probably a 47 millimeter. It's massive. Chunky. Super chunky. Probably 16 millimeters in width. At least 50 lug to lug. Uh, giant bezel. Look at this. Look at this thing. I mean, this is not bad action, really. Not bad at all. I believe these are only, they're under $200. So it's its really not bad quality for, for what you pay. Um, let me take it off the wrist. Hang on one hey, second. So Delmar, guys, a micro brand. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the brand. What this does look to me like is, it looks like a marathon watch. I think it's a GSR. Um, and those are either quartz or you know automatic and get them either way, which is a military watch um, I believe they've even been contracted, you know through the military um, but um, Anyway, this one here says Thailand movement, so I'm not really sure you see that at the very bottom by the six I'm not really sure I've never seen a Thailand movement. Uh, it's probably a Miota or something movement um, but um, Not bad 200 meter water resistance, so it's some, you know, it looks like a qualified diver. Um, you got trinium tubes, which will last forever, so this thing will always glow in the dark. It is, um, you don't have to charge them or anything, so they'll just glow. It's kind of like a Luminox, if you guys have heard of Luminox, which I'm sure you have. Um, some brands use them. I think Ball Watch Company also uses the uh, tritium tubes, but uh, they're great. They last about maybe 20 years but they just grow bright, uh, glow bright all the time, okay? Um, so that's a cool feature. Um, so anyway, I mean, there's not, I mean, if you, it is what it is. Look at the size of this thing. I don't, I don't know enough about it to really go too much in the depth, but uh, for what you'll pay, I believe they're under $200. It's, it's a very, uh, you know, it's a nice made watch for that price. It, it's not bad. You're getting some good, uh, good value. It's got a date function down there. Um, quartz movement, reliable, um, you know, not bad. I mean, it really isn't bad at all. Let's let you guys check this thing out from a few different angles here. Uh, this is on a NATO. It comes on a stainless steel bracelet. Look at the size of that crown. That thing's massive. Big crowns are very nice because uh, you can grip them, you know, a lot better than having a tiny little crown with a big case. I don't know why you know manufacturers do that sometimes but uh, here is a uh, Delmar bracelet this is what it came on so you got polished center links brushed um, outer links um, I'm sure it's a you know stainless steel probably Chinese you know made but uh, you know what's wrong with that in fact it doesn't even say where it's made so who knows um, but seems like high quality I mean it's not bad um, push pin links so they're solid too. They feel like solid end links, which I mean, for the price point, that's pretty damn good. But if you're looking for a, a diver, an everyday watch, everyday beater, you know, this will do it right here for sure. And at that price point, I wouldn't pass it up. Anyway, guys, please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video and you guys take care. We'll see you. Goodbye.